Hello everyone and welcome to another review. Today we're going to go ahead and review a fragrance that was actually released in the year 2003. So it's an old fragrance. It's been around for a while. It's from the house of Bond Number no. 9 and the fragrance we're going to review today is called Riverside Drive. Now Riverside Drive, again, released in 2003, and it's pretty well known in the fragrance community just because it supposedly smells like two other very famous fragrances, uh, Green Irish Tweed from the House of Creed and Cool Water by Davidoff. So it's, it's had that notoriousness along with it just to, you know, kind of boost its reputation along being. And I never actually got to review it just because of the fact that I smelled it the first time and I remember not being impressed by it at all. I didn't like the opening and I kind of skipped over it. But now I'm back to it. I got in my full seven wearings and decided to give it a shot at reviewing it. Right now, it's available in two main sizes, 50 milliliter and 100 milliliter. 50 milliliter is going to run you $190 retail, and the 100 milliliter is going to run you $265 retail. Now, at one point, Bond did yank a lot, get a lot of their fragrances yanked from third-party sites like FragranceNet. But since I've seen like a couple of fragrances popping up here or there on some of those discount sites, so you still can possibly get this a little bit cheaper uh, if you go to those sites rather than going to uh, Bond Number Nine or an authorized retailer. But Again, you do that, you're running your own risk, whether it be old copy or whether it be uh, fake copy, you don't know, don't go off my word for it, you're taking your own risk, all right? So with that, let's go ahead and get right into the notes of this fragrance. The notes of this fragrance consist of pineapple, sandalwood, patchouli, violet, basil, oak moss, and cedar. So the first thing that I get from this fragrance is actually basil. Now, the base, I, I know it's basil just because I cook with basil a lot, and that was the first thing that struck me. I don't find it particularly alluring or great smelling. It just kind of smells like uh, like weird, like you just put on some, some leaves, basically. Uh, so a good comparison that a lot of people like to, smell, like to say with fragrances that they're green fragrances, and this is very much a green fragrance. It's just green in a different way, and a way that I didn't necessarily like right off at the top. Because the next note that I get is another note that I'm not too fond of, which is violet. Violet comes off to me uh, pretty strong, and although people say that this fragrance and it does have pineapple in it supposedly, I don't really get a pineapple note. I get it, I well, I should say I get a very subdued pineapple note at the top, so it comes off like that. Overall, I really don't like the top. However, do not let that discourage you because it morphs. This fragrance morphs at least two more times. And the second morph is actually the part of this fragrance that I enjoy the most. I start getting a little bit of a pickle type of a vibe. That pickle vibe comes in it, and it really sounds weird because I know I've heard people say it before. And I was kind of always like, all right, that's kind of interesting, but it doesn't really smell too, uh, it doesn't really sound too appealing until I actually got a chance to really try it out. I'm like, oh, I actually like this pickle vibe. It comes off as very interesting, um, very soothing, very cooling at the same time. And it, it's, it's very interesting and very, how do I want to say it? Very unique is what I'm trying to get across. I start to get a little bit more of the green and woods as time goes on. And originally when I put this on, to, I think it was like my first wearing, I was like, oh, okay, I, I know people have said that this smells like green Irish tweed and cool water, but I'm not getting that. I, I said something different. So I said, oh, okay, I'll, I'll just leave it on. Time went on, and about after two hours, that's when I started picking up more of the green Irish tweed vibe. I'm like, oh, okay, now this smells like green Irish tweed. So the dry down of the fragrance really does smell like Green Irish Tweed and Davidoff Cool Water. That's really what it comes in. The top, the mid, and the opening are definitely different, but the dry down, it starts to become like Green Irish Tweed, and almost, I would say, it's very similar in the dry down. Spray-wise, I generally go about four sprays to, with this fragrance. I go about four sprays. It, it, it puts out a decent uh, vibe to it. I say there's also one more thing I should probably add. This is a green scent, but it's not necessarily a green, fresh, springy scent. It's like green and fresh vegetables, if you will. Um, that's pretty much the, ba the best thing that I can actually give you for it. It doesn't smell bad, and it doesn't smell great in my opinion, because I really like great spring, freshy fragrances, but this isn't one of them like that. It's fresh, 
until it turns into like a green Irish tea quote. But either way. Anyways, this is a great casual scent. I don't think it's a good work fragrance just because I think you might turn a little heads at the office if you smell like vegetables while you're there. Um, but a casual scent is, I think this is an ultimate casual scent. It's great for that occasion. Season-wise, I think spring and summer are the most suited for this fragrance as it does have a cooling quality and a cooling effect to it. Age group, I think any age group can go ahead and pull this one off, whether you be young or old. Of course, price might limit you, but you know, if you can get your hands on a copy, you know, who am I to judge? Performance, this has great performance. It has good sillage, good um, projection, and the longevity on this, this lasts 12 plus hours on my skin, easy. Um, I'm talking about like 15, almost up to 20 basically. This, this lasts on your skin. It sticks on your skin. It's obvious that you know they put some, some work into it and it lasts a very good amount of time. And I should say something else is that it really develops on your skin as more time passes. And the more you sweat, the more it comes off. For some reason, when it mixes, it doesn't smell sour or anything like that. It just smells absolutely fantastic with it. So I guess you can kind of say, the more you sweat with this fragrance, the better it starts smelling. At least when I sweat with it. I'm not sure about you guys or what you guys are eating, but that's how it comes off on me. Compliment wise, I didn't get any compliments with this one, but I suspect it's because of the fact that it kind of has that green Irish tweed, uh, cool waters vibe, and for that, you know, people, they do smell, think that it smells good, but it's something that they think that they've smelled before is kind of the sense that I'm getting for, from this fragrance, all right? So if I'm going to go ahead and give this fragrance a rating, I give it a rating of an 8 out of 10. It gets an 8 out of 10. Let me list the positives first. It's a, definitely a unique fragrance. I think the top and the mid come off as very unique, even though the base isn't as unique, but it still, to me, comes off as a unique enough fragrance, and it's 2003 which is, it was released in 2003, which is pretty impressive. I think the performance is great on this fragrance and the smell overall is top notch. I think it's a great smell. Negatives of this fragrance, the price obviously, it's expensive. This is an expensive scent and for a very similar smelling scent, you can just go with Cool Water, which is far cheaper or many of the Cool Water clones or something like that, which are far cheaper than what you'll pay for this. You can find many similar scents along that same vein that smell like this. And I do think that even though I like that pineapple-y vibe, or that pickly vibe in the mid, I do think that it could possibly come off as weird to some other people. So while I think it's unique, I do think it runs the risk of being weird to some others. All right? So let me know what your thoughts are on this fragrance. This fragrance has been out for a long time, so I'm sure a lot of you have some thoughts on this. All right? Thank you. Take care of yourselves, and you guys have a great day.